Alrighty, friendos, welcome in. So, in today's video, we are doing another episode of You Decide, where we're playing on zero sanity, zero evidence. I'm gonna go inside, do all the tests necessary to figure out the ghost, but I'm not gonna tell you what the ghost is. You guys, you, you guys, you guys get to decide what the ghost is. So, it's great practice for um, practicing your ghost abilities without actually having to do it yourself. Um, the timer in the top right is the smudge timer for when I smudge the ghost in relation to when it hunts again. All right, with all that rambling out of the way, let's go and hop inside and see what kind of ghost you would get. Already got a ghost event coming out of left field. All right, hello, Grandpa. Now you're gonna hunt on me in here. That is the next question. Oh, okay, just more assault. Got it, got it. Jesus, you're spicy. All right. Now we wait, I think. You're gonna do all that and just... Don't, you're gonna break this light. Please don't. God. Okay, I guess we'll go in here to get our visual. Come on. Dude, I'm like afraid to hang out in the kitchen now because they're gonna do a light breaking ghost event on me. Okay, yep. Now it hunts. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on. All that and you're a Dio. Okay, we're running it back, fam. <laughs> we're not gonna have this be our first game. I mean, and this is what a Dio looks like, in case you've never experienced a Dio. But um, we'll go ahead and run it back on, on Tanglewood, because this is just way too easy. I'm gonna smudge you, because I'm over your shenanigans. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Oh, sorry. I like clicked through that really quickly. That ghost was indeed a Diogen. <laughs> but let's go run it back on Tanglewood, because we can't have that easy of a game. Okay, here we are. I'm ready. Here we go. Go see. Okay, well, another easy game. <laughs> we'll go and count that as our Tanglewood game, though. Oh, let me go ahead and load out, pop open the journal. You know, I had thought about doing, like, one-hunt games for to start off the stream, and I was like, ah, it might take me forever to get easy ghosts, but we just got two easy ghosts. Um, okay, there's a the journal. Let's go ahead and close it, and let's load out and see if you're right. Ghost is in Dino Obake, and I will accept a round of applause for my amount of self-control not to gasp at the Obake shapeshift. I've gotten a lot better about it. I'm really glad I don't use a face cam for these videos because my face would have definitely given away <laughs> what the ghost was. But yeah, it was a Dino Obake because uh, she shapeshifted from tall, dark, and handsome into grandma. So easy peasy stuff. Um, yeah, Obake is every time while they're hunting, every time they blink, they have a 6.66% chance of shapeshifting. So that's what you're looking for. To see if it's an Obake or not. Okay, let's go and hump to another game. We gotta get a harder ghost, right? We got to. Okay, we're now on ta uh, Tanglewood. We're now on Willow Street. Let's see what kind of- Oh, okay, and the ghost is right here. Alright. Now we wait. You gonna touch that door again? I dare you. Touch it again. Do it. Shy now. It says, No, you're aware of my presence. Okay, now it's touching that door. Okay, do it again. Do it. Don't you go in the basement, though. Don't, don't do that. Thank you. Okie dokie. Got a smudge timer going. I'm gonna grab a few things, test for this ghost, and we'll wait out the smudge timer as well. Okay, come back with Jesus and some candles. I think you're more of a hallway ghost, but um, we will set up like this until you prove me differently. Okay. Candle there, candle there. Let's light these bad boys up. 
Uh, yeah, the cannon placement or the crucifix placement is kind of doo doo. Let's do maybe a little bit more forward on this one. Okay. Oh, now it's like over here. Okay. Oh, okay. I kind of want to move the crucifixes. They're going to be more of a. Oh, okay. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely want to move this crucifix then. Uh, okay, maybe like here? Okay. Well, I do believe I know what this ghost is. Um, <laughs> let's uh, go and it out. I'll eat ticket people to general really quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And let's slow down and see if you're right. The ghost was indeed a mare, and we actually got the mare ability. That is pretty quickly, too. Normally, normally it would take forever to get the mare ability, but the mare ability is that when you um, turn on a light, a mare has a chance of immediately turning it back off. So you saw that at the very end, I turned the kitchen light back on, and the ghost immediately turned it back off. So that is the mare ability. Sometimes you don't get that, and another way to test for mare is to see if it just keeps changing its favorite room whenever, after you turn the light on in its room. Mares just hate being on the light, and they try to avoid it. Now they can still hunt in a room that has the lights on, but they usually will. If, if you have like change favorite room set to high, or at least not set to none, they will often change their favorite room if you leave the lights on. Okay, well, come on, we got it. <laughs> that is a tough ghost, but we like got the ability. Let's see if we can get like an even tougher ghost. Come on, Rageview, hook us up. I was like just about to go into like a crucifix and candles, just straight up <laughs> doing, that, doing that test. No, no, okay, I got my proper load out, let's do it. Alright, and we are in. I'm ready. Let me turn the kitchen light on. I don't know, having the kitchen light on just makes me feel a little bit safer. That's usually where I would retreat to. Hunt is over. Got as much time we're going. Looks like it came out of the laundry room, so we'll set up for that area. Oh, bro. <laughs> ah, at least we got one loop out of the ghost before it promptly broke the light on us. That's that's good. Let's see, so we no longer have the kitchen light. We do have like these lights right here that we can kind of see this lamp as well okay um let's get that lit okay Well, <laughs> we do indeed, or at least I def definitely know what this ghost is. Um, go and pop out, open up the journal, you guys take a peep for five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And let's go load out and see if you are right. The ghost was indeed a demon, a very obvious demon. We're getting such easy ghosts today. This is crazy. And the reason we knew it was a demon was because it hunted almost exactly 60 seconds after I smudged it. Demons are the only ghosts that can hunt that quickly after you smudge it. Most ghosts have to wait 90 seconds. See the other time it says one minute. Most ghosts would have to wait a minute and a half before hunting. And then a spirit would have to wait three minutes before hunting. So thankfully we got a demon that literally used its ability. Let me see actually. Um, abilities used. Yeah, it uses ability once, which I'm pretty sure is the, <laughs> that was the, the smudging ability. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. We're getting such easy ghosts today. Maybe Grafton will have a tough ghost for us. Come on, Grafton. This is usually where I like to test for ghosts on Grafton. 
Oh, it's hunting already. Okay. Okay, well, another obvious ghost. I do want to stay for one more hunt. Um, just to test for it real quick. And then we'll load out and see if you are right. Oh my god, how did I not just die? Oh my god, okay, so I'm pretty sure I know what this ghost is. Let's go and load out and see if we're both right. Yeah, I'm going to pop up in the journal for a few seconds. Let you guys take a peek. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go and load out and see if you are right. And the ghost was in Dita Maroy, and that was actually a tough one because it was that first hunt that why I wanted to say a second hunt was just kind of hard to tell if it got faster when it came up the stairs, um, because it was hard, kind of hard to hear it. But the main way to differentiate between Maroy and Thay is probably the two ghosts you were thinking, is whether or not it speeds up gradually with line of sight. Um, and this ghost did as we were looping it as it came up the stairs, it was gradually getting faster and faster as it saw us. But Thay's will not do that. Thay's will stay their same speed as you're looping them, whether they're fast or if you've aged them and they've gotten slower. Um, you can also with Maroi do a double smudge test, which I end up doing at the end here. I didn't include in the footage, but I'll include it here. Um, you can do a smudge test on a Maroi to see if it ignores you for twice as long. Maroi's will be blinded for 12 seconds instead of six seconds after you smudge them, which this ghost, after I smudged it, ignored me for a very long time. So that was indeed a Maroi. If you got that right, congratulations. If not, that's okay too. I'm pretty sure we all know what this ghost is. Um, I'll go and pop open. I'll go and pop open my journal right now, and let you guys take a peep for a couple seconds, and then we'll load out and see if you're right. Okay, let's go and load out. This was indeed another demon. <laughs> Even city meadows can give us a typical ghost, and thankfully this ghost also. Use its ability as a demon to hunt under 90 seconds after he smudged it. So, sorry for another repeat. Um, sometimes it's just how it is. Let's go ahead. You know what? I'm gonna torch myself. We're gonna go to Camp Woodwind. Let's let's see if we can get a tough ghost, and this will be our last game. Let's see what we can get. Okay, here we are. We do have the cooler hiding. Thank God. Okay. So I've been sitting here for, for a little bit. Oh, here we go, never mind. I do believe the hunt is already over. All right, so came out the bathrooms. Now it would be really nice if we'd stay in there. Um, let's go and get some crucifixes and candles set up while the smudge timer's going. Oh, look like a bone! How nice. Okay, go and set this up like here, and maybe one like out here. I right, do need to go grab one more candle though. Okay. Don't hunt from over there. Come back to your room, please. This even is your room. Oh, 
Alright, now we're just gonna babysit the crucifixes and candles. Okay. And get bullied in the process. You absolutely did hunt from over there that time. Hate everything you stand for, ghost. This is why I hate Camp Woodwin. The ghosts, the ghosts never stay where they're supposed to stay. Like the first hunt, it just very happily hunted from the, the bathroom, and now it's it's like over here. Ah, All right, well, I guess we'll set up for like over here. I don't I don't know where to put these crucifixes and candles anymore. Oh, okay. Well, she just very promptly broke that light. Thank you kindly. <laughs> what a meanie. Okay, I'm gonna go grab another smudge stick. Alright, put some salt down over here. Hopefully that does something for us. And she hunted from right over there. Why did I torture myself with Camp Woodwind? Tell me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna put a crucifix right here if that's what she hunted from that time. Alright, we got crucifix over here now. And she hunted from over there. Okay. Can't win, friends. I can't win. Okay, we're gonna switch up our strategy a little bit because I do only have one more smudge stick and I don't want to keep like using them. Oh, I think I just stepped in the salt. Um, yeah, stepped in that salt. Okay, we're just gonna like put a crucifix and candle in our hiding spot. Let's see if she ever comes on top of us or like comes over here. Um, maybe we'll just like sit this time and just listen to her. Let me get this open so we can hear. And she hunts again. Okay. Can't tell if she's used that other crucifix at all. Um, I just peeked up to see if I could see it and I couldn't. I guess there is a chance she could have used that crucifix that's over in that tent. Kinda don't want to waste this much chick to go and check it. Okay, there's that again. And maybe I'll try. She's not used other crucifix. I'm gonna hop out. I think it was like right there and I don't see any red. Okay. Ah, oh, should I grab the other crucifix?
I'll go ahead and do it. I may have to waste my last smudge stick to go and grab it, but... I think it was right... Yeah, it was right here. It's not been touched yet. Okay. Now we have both crucifixes over here. I do have some suspicions on what this ghost might be. Just sort of test with how, how wandery she is. Okay, I'm getting harassed. No, she hasn't hunted yet. There we go. It kind of sound like she hunted right outside our hiding spots. So maybe we'll just put like one more right here. Grab the other candle. At least then we can like hear if she uses it. Okay. Yeah, she might be like in that red tent or like in that outside of the red tent right now. I mean, she still hasn't used either crucifix. Oh, did just blow up my candle, actually. So maybe she's in this blue tent. Maybe we're somehow in the ghost room right now. I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know how these rooms are divided. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna let this candle go out. Like that. Okay, that candle is still lit. Okay. Just use that crucifix right there. All right. Okay, so there's like one more test I could do with the smudge stick I have. Let me see if I have a certain hiding spot though. Um, okay, I do. Perfect. All right, we're going to try to do this next test from here. I don't know how successful I'll be, but wish me luck. Okay. Go see. Ghosty, 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 ghosty. Okay, hunt is over. Um, I'll we'll probably save for like one more hunt. See if anything informational happens and then we will load out. Um, I'm kind of down to like two ghosts right now myself. Um, but I don't feel like staying here for an hour to try to test for those two ghosts. So. And I do believe, yeah, the ghost just turned on that light on right there.
hunt is over this is definitely a tough one uh, i'm down to like one maybe two ghosts um but like i said i don't want to stay in here for another hour testing <laughs> so um we are going to leave and see if we're both right i'll go and pop open the journal for a couple seconds let you guys take a peep feel free to pause here and then we will load out all right let's see if we are both right Okay, the ghost is indeed a shade. Um, I, I down there at the end, I'd gotten down to Mare and Shade because it kind of seemed like it was avoiding something. Like at one point, I was down to like Onryo, Mare, and Shade because I thought maybe it was avoiding the candles. But then thankfully, it used a crucifix by the lit candle. And then also there at the end, it turned that light on, which helped me further narrow it down to Shade. The only other ghost I thought it might have been was like a Yuri because it's almost impossible to task for Yuri on this map without knowing like where the ghost room is to do like a smudge test to see if it gets stuck in its room um but it just seemed like it was avoiding us like it would not hunt and there was a couple times it could have definitely hunted on us in our hiding spot there at the coolers and it didn't um also it was doing a lot of airball ghost events which i noticed shades prefer over other ghost events so that was definitely a tough one thankfully we, <laughs> we had to go to camp woodwind one of my least favorite maps to finally get a tough game but that was a good one. Yeah, so the main tell for Shade there was that it, it seemed like it was avoiding us whenever it went to hunt. And, I mean, airballs aren't like a telltale sign for Shades. But if they're mostly doing airballs, you could lean more towards Shade, potentially. Um, but definitely a tough one. That was fun. Uh, hopefully you got that right. If not, that's okay, too. Because, like I said, it was tough. But those are all the games that I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop the video a like. It helps out with algorithms so much. If you love to drop me a sub. Otherwise, good luck ghost hunting and I will see you in the next one.